So leaving the bicycles, we're now moving to the waters and we're exploring some seven kilometres of this northern reaches of the river, so from Ballygill Bridge down as far as the Lock and Mill. So this is Ballygill Bridge, which was part of nine bridges built by the Sub Drainage Board between 1840 and 1887. Seven arches. The last known jewel of Ireland took place here in 1841, where a man from Rathpeak was killed. And you can read all about it in our August September edition of Vanless or Life. Beautiful, tranquil waters. The water was quite high on the day we paddled down. We entered uh, just there south of the bridge. And of course, the first sight you'll see on approaching the town is the back of Pryle's own stoneworks, old stoneworks um, in Derry Mullen. There's the first sight of the railway bridge of the Great uh, Midlands, of, uh, Midlands and Western Railway. Built in 1851, 49, the butts were laid. Uh, that's Brackenia stone. It looks a bit red because of the of the rust that's fallen from the uh, structural steel. So um, we we carried along under that. The water was quite. It came to Banlaslow in 1851 formally, and uh, that's when the first train uh, chugged in, and it was a huge momentous occasion for uh, the community. Like, of course, at the time, Clancarty was the landlord, and he had amassed something in the region of. 23,986 uh, acres in Galway and 1,614 in Roscommon. So that's the backlands of the town. Um, at the back of the island of the railway, the Deer Park River meets the Suck, and you catch glimpses of the back of Cleamore, and you can see the high point of Dunida as you round the crest. Uh, the the um, modern, I suppose, um, park lights or, or uh, street lights of the uh, Duggan Park can be seen. That's St John's from the old convent garden. So we're moving along Society Street and that part of the backlands uh, of the river is the closest area of the river to the main street of the town. That uh, building there looking at St Michael's um, is where the uh, uh, main street arches and you'll come closely here. I think Tomas Galan, Tomas Carlin Galan's hotel back garden is where those reeds are. Uh, the 36 bedroom uh, family hotel. It, it nestles alongside the uh, Coolahan's uh, uh, buildings, which are, there's um, Ali Coolahan's uh, department store. And uh, the whole area here is the deepest and broadest stretch and slowest stretch of the water. Lots of wildlife, ducks, geese, swans, that sort of thing uh, to be seen. So it's the area known as Towns Parks that were, that were uh, um, uh, meandering through. And it is very slow water, very deep water as well. That area there is the hill aback, and uh, that's a sluice gate. And of course, you're looking across then into the St. Bridges Hospital grounds and the old um, farm and uh, stuff on the le on the northern side of the bank. That's the Clancarty Townhouse, which was built in 1840 in the 1840s and became a bank in 1850 odd or 1836. That's the view back up towards the western side of the town from that uh, corner around the hill back and you're looking across there to the Aptar factory and to St. Um, Bridget's, the Enterprise Technology Centre. Lots of wildlife, again, horses, uh, lots of farmers. This is the back of Joe Murray's and at the back of Joe's, the original trip, the original cut of the River Channel so meets us. Uh, this is the old De Burgo Castle that's on the eastern flank. Imagine um, Queen Elizabeth uh, gave the Viceroyship of Connacht to the Brabazons in that castle in the late 1500s and it has stood there manning the ford into the west or preserving the east. There is the 1887. Uh, this, this channel is not the original river channel. This was all man-made by late Victorian engineers and the four sluice gates were to regulate the flow of the water up and down the Suck Basin and the Suck Callows. The buildings on the right here as you pass by are the oldest buildings in the town on the 1700s after the castle. This was where the milling complex was and it housed a number of hotels. Wolf Tone stayed there and Dean Swift stayed there and that's the conflux. That's where the water uh, swings out from the marina, uh, which is again an old man-made channel down towards um, uh, St Michael's Church, St John's. You can see the uh, pickles both, and of course our civic offices of the old um, town council of Ballinasloe, the which was shaped like the bow of a ship to reflect the marina area. And there's of course uh, Shearwater Hotel, our 120 odd bedroom facility and conference centre.